Hey, what's going on? My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Today, I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead, like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on. So very, almost uh, a lot of resistance when it comes to something. But really, you know, it's a blessing, but it seems almost like a curse right now. So source is telling you, assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled, and then it will happen. But unless this last piece of the puzzle is not met, then the criteria is not all there for that ebook, you know, a playbook, you know, setup, right? Which really means right now, you got to be able to really live 10 years from now in a timeline where your wish has been fulfilled. Think of that, feel that, then the energy of this will get cleared. But until you are not waiting for something you've been waiting for, the energy will be there. And when there's resistance anywhere, there's resistance everywhere. So source is telling you, know your power, know your worth, and to really let go, let go to receive. This is the most important part, right? Right now, imagination creates reality. So universe is telling you that when this happens, you got to understand, you are going to feel so free, so liberated when you feel as if, wow, I've already done this, right? When you tell yourself, oh, it's been 10 years since I met my soulmate. Wow, we've, it's our 10-year anniversary. We are about to have kids. Great. And when you're like, ah, even for a split second, if you feel like, oh, I've already done this, ah, that pressure that's gone, that is how you let the universe, allow the universe to do its job. But that you are required to get that surrender, not be waiting for it, that waiting, that tippy toes walking on the eggshells energy, that is the last thing you're looking for. And Source is telling you right now to really do you, let it shine, Use your imagination and really understand the feelings form the actions that accomplish your purpose. So really start entangling with the energy of feeling your wish fulfilled and then it will take place for you rather than sooner rather than later. Now this is very energy. Uh, interesting. Source is telling you that there has been extra pressure you are putting on yourself and this extra pressure has been causing you some sort of resistance. And what you think of with your emotion is an actual fact. So the two universe's eyes, whatever you're thinking or feeling, and the universe is not second guessing you. It's just saying your wish is my command. So if you're telling yourself, oh, why did I do this? I shouldn't have done this. Universe is going to, you know, almost like ignite that more. And not because it's out to get you, but because you, when you say, when you point to something, the universe goes and gets it. And that's what's going on here. You're pointing, you're giving attention to something, right? And that's what it comes down to. Unless you want to breathe life into something, never, ever, ever focus on something. If it's raining, do not say, oh, look, it's raining. It's like basically pointing the finger at raining, at, at, at the rain, and just tell, rubbing it in its face, for example. And then the rain's like, oh, what? I'm going to rain harder. Something like that. You know what I mean? So the universe is telling you right now, there's no need for that. All you have to do is point your area of focus to what you love. Be loyal to what you love. This is so important. Understand that, like, become aware of what you are thinking and feeling. Become aware that you are going to change your reality with your uh, perspective. Become aware that you are in the driver's seat. Become aware that you are about to change a lot of things up in your life. And really become aware of how to do this. And how to do this is by making sure that your antenna is clear to pick up messages and that you are able to not keep the signal jammed by not overthinking and just allowing the universe to do its thing, which is actually to bring you this message, right? Because there are major um, downloads that you are meant to have in the short term here. And right now, source is telling you that, you know, live as if your prayers have already been answered, you know, feel as if you have already accomplished the goal. Uh, I like to thank the universe in advance. Anytime I want something from the universe, uh, I never ask for it because it doesn't work. If it worked, everyone would have stuff. Everyone's always asking, universe, help me out, give me this. Never works, right? You can't ask for it. So for example, for the rest of your life, as of, as of this second right now, never ask the universe for one more thing again. If you want something from the universe, you thank the universe in advance. So for example, I would be like, universe, 
Thank you so much for bringing my soulmate into my life. Wow, we it's been our 10-year anniversary. I'm having such a good time. They are perfect. Thank you for making them blonde hair, blue eyes, brunette, this tall, this short, whatever. And here's the details of you know our, our characteristics. And thank you again. You are the best. I appreciate you. That right there is how you get it done. That is how you cast a spell. That is how you, like a sorcerer in a good way, use your... You know, you're not waiting 10 years to get it done. You're quantum t leaping 10 years. And you, that's how you're getting it done. And now your faith is your fortune. Your faith is your power, right? You are no longer waiting for something, but believing, like doing that, telling yourself, thank you, universe, in advance. It takes faith to do that, right? Or else everyone would do it. Everyone knows this stuff is real. Like, quant you know, everyone deep down inside, they know to think positive. Why are they not doing it? Because it takes courage. It takes discipline. It takes gusto to go against your instincts and instead, you know, listen to your or higher self because your instincts is really brainwashing all these years they told you to be careful be scared blah 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 and source is telling you that clearing this energy is going to be remarkable for you you're going to open up a lot of new perspectives a lot of new doors you know becoming aware of what you're thinking and feeling is the first step i'll tell you right now and understanding that like you know your faith is your fortune your power is your fortune that your point of attraction that your you know your everything your really your entire uh, uh, life is in the hands of where you're putting your attention and that's it you know and where you put your attention is going to determine whether your life is going to be effortless right super duper easy or efforted and right now source is telling you that you can have it effortless but universe is also telling you to trust in the magic, which is the spiritual, mystical, and quantum, and focus more on that as well. Because like you're doing all the particle and matter stuff, you're doing all the third dimensional energy of you know action steps. Good, this is good. But where's the you know the mystical portion, the spiritual portion, the scientific quantum portion? You you know like Tesla, Da Vinci, Einstein using the quantum field to draw your manifestation to you like a vortex, or spiritually like Buddha, and just, you know, detaching from anything and everything, right? So at the end of the day, it's all the same thing. Tomato, tomato. You know, it's not forcing reality, reality into existence, which it never works, but taking possession of it, being grateful for what is, what is actually given to you, and what is actually given to you will be more than you could have expected. It just never seems like it at the moment, but usually it's even better than you ever expected. So major, major openings, major opportunities, blessings coming your way, in the near future this month is going to be a very powerful new month and uh, you're going to really be able to um, use things and make things happen in a very uh, uh, productive manner and uh, a lot of new fun and exciting uh, ventures will be taking place for you very shortly all right now this is your affirmation for today write this down in the comment section and when you write this down let the universe know you're ready so write down i believe in the person i am becoming Write that down in the comment section. What you're doing is you're quantum leaping, quantum entangling with this energy. You're telling the universe this message you see here that you have learned this message and you no longer need to be tied to this message. You're ready to leave this message, leave this lesson, and allow a new opportunity to come into your life. So I believe in the person I am becoming. You are fully aware that you are on your path and good things are coming. And right now to listen to your higher self, which is the infallible guide, but you gotta write this down in the comment section. Let the universe know you're ready. I believe in the person I am becoming. Write that down in the comment section, right? And let the universe know that you are 100% done with that lesson. And again, energy is never created or destroyed. Like you can't just like um, take, you know, energy and put it somewhere. That energy that you're going to put somewhere into like thinking you're confident has to come from you thinking you're not confident. It has to come from somewhere. And that's what the universe is telling you right now. Let go of the past lessons to be able to gift, be gifted new opportunities. All right. Now, final message from the universe. Start where you are. Look at that. The message is, the great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. The next, or excuse me, next, the universe. The universe is telling you right now that love is your, you know, a, 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 you know, a, a organic, natural vibration within your body. Unconditional love. You nurture and welcome this energy into your life. So right now, Source is telling you that the love is natural for you. 
and that it's very effortless. And the moment it's effortless is when you really stop caring what other people think, right? Like you don't, when you don't care about what anyone else thinks and you are so content with yourself and doing things that make you happy, then that right there is the ultimate form of love you're giving yourself and everyone will reciprocate that love back. And I see here major uh, uh, opportunities of love being shared between you and like-minded individuals and the universe wants you to know this is happening soon. All right, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.